Hello future engineers, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're still new to my channel and you like what I'm doing, please don't forget to share my videos to your friends and to your friends' friends. That's the only way you can help me explore, promote my channel and to keep me going, refreshed and inspired. And of course, if my videos are important to your studies, please don't forget to subscribe. By the portal method of approximate analysis, determine the following for member FG. Its floor is 5 meters high. The shear force, the bending moment, and the axial force of member FG. So this is member FG. So since this is by portal method, let's call the shear here as V3 external. 2v3, 2v3, and v sub 3. At this level, we have v sub 2, 2v sub 2, 2v sub 2, and v sub 2. Then at this level, v1, 2v1, 2v1, and v1. So for the upper level, summation force is horizontal. So 6v3 equals 50. So the, for level 2 rather, to, so that we can solve for the shear in FG right away. So 50 plus 6V sub 2 equals 50 plus 100. So V sub 2 equals 25 kilonewtons. Therefore, the shear force in FG, which is letter A, is 2 times V sub 2. So therefore, the shear in FG is 50 kilonewtons. Next, bending moment. The bending moment for member FG is the moment at G, moment at F. So it is equal to 2 times V2 times moment arm because its floor is 5 meters high. So the moment arm is half of 5, 2.5. So moment at FG is moment F equals moment G equals 2 times V2 times 2.5. So, moment at FG is 2 times 25 times 2.5, and it is equal to 125 kilonewtons meter. Finally, for the axial force, we need to draw a free body diagram of this portion and this portion here. So, we need V3, so 50 equals 6V3. V sub 3 is equal to 8.33 kilonewtons. Then from there we can solve for FHL. So considering this FVD, so FHL equals V3 plus 2 V3, so 3 times V3. 3 times V sub 3 equals FHL. So FHL is equal to 25 kilonewtons. So we, did, we then draw the free body diagram of this portion and this portion. We want FBC so that we can compute the axial force in FG by considering this FBD later. So F summation moment about this joint FCD clockwise times three points times seven point five rather half of fifteen is equal to V1, V3, which is 8.333 times 2.5. So FCD is 2.778 kilonewtons. So for this portion of the free body diagram, we sum up moment about this point to solve for FBC. So FBC times 7.5 is equal to 8.333 times 2.5 plus FCD 2.778 times 7.5 then plus 25 which is V2 V sub 2 25 times 2.5 so FBC is equal to 13.889 kilonewtons we then draw the FBD of this portion That one. So this is FBC 13.889. The unknown here is the axial force of FG. Let's assume it is compression. And these are the shear forces. And 
this is FHL, which we saw earlier here. Then if we sum up moment about GK, this shear force is not involved. It passes through this point. So clockwise positive, summation moment about GK equals 0. So F, FG times 5 plus 13.889 times 20. Then equals 50 times 2.5 plus 25 times 2.5 plus 25 times 5. That's 5. So from there, we can now solve FFG, which is in compression. It is equal to 6.944 kilonewtons compression. So that's it. And we will solve this by cantilever method also in example 77.